Soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, give me strength. Please all stand for a morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the faithful heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your sacred heart the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of August. For political leaders, let us pray that political leaders be at the service of their own people, working for integral human development and the common good, taking care of those who have lost their jobs and giving priority to the poor. We fly to patronage the Holy Mother of God, despise not our petition in, the, in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Please all kneel for Erasio Imperata for peace. God, our Heavenly Father, 
Lord of peace and justice, we humbly come before you during this time of escalating geopolitical tensions in our part of the world. Through the years, you have sustained our faith in you as a nation. It is our faith in your divine providence that has made us survive the countless natural and human-caused calamities that have come our way in our history as a people. Spare us, Lord, from the horrors of war. Hear our pleas as we cry out to you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Rescue us from the malevolent forces that influence world leaders. For we believe that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We pray for our leaders entrusted with making crucial decisions for our nation. We place all our hopes in you, seeking your forgiveness and mercy for the times when our fears and suspicions have tainted our perceptions with ethnic biases and prejudices verging on racism. We earnestly pray, Lord, that you make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Nuestra Señora de Guía, Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Joseph, Saint Francis of Assisi, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Luis, Pray for us. San Pe Saint Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all stand. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time and St. John Baptist Marie Vianney Sunday. <laughs> We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, God's concern for people's earthly needs is manifested when Jesus multiplies the bread and fish and feeds the crowd that has followed him. But when the Jews focus on the physical bread and fail to realize the importance of Jesus' presence among them, they fall short of discovering the many surprises God has in store for them. We also celebrate today St. John Baptist Marie Vianney Sunday, 
the patron of priests. We remember in this Mass all our priests that they may continue to be living witnesses of Jesus, the bread of life. To prepare ourselves in this sacred celebration, we call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, 
that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our fresh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day, the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. I have heard the grumblings of the Israelites. Tell them, in the evening twilight, you shall eat flesh, and in the morning, you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hard frost on the ground. On seeing it, the Israelites asked one another, what is this? for they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. What we have heard and know and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength and, and the wonders that he wrote. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. He commanded the skies above and opened the doors in heaven. He rained manna upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance, and he brought them to his holy land, to the mountains his right hand had won. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I declare and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do 
in the futility of their minds. That is not how you learned Christ. Assuming that you have heard of him and were taught in him. As truth is in Jesus, that you should put away the old self of your former way of life, corrupted through deceitful desires, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on the new self, created in God's way, in righteousness and holiness of truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. does not live on bread alone, but on every word that's come forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus and when they found him across the sea they said to him Rabbi when did you get here Jesus answered them and said Amen Amen I say to you you are looking for me not because you saw signs but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do? to accomplish the works of God. Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. So they said to him, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. 
A blessed Sunday to all of you. Could you kindly greet the person beside you? A blessed Sunday. Our readings for today tell us beautiful stories that will not only teach us a lesson, but will open our eyes to the things that we are looking for in our lives. Things that we are looking for in our lives. Could you ask yourself, what am I looking for? Ano bang hinahanap po ninyo? Tanong mo ngayon katabi mo, anong hinahanap mo? May hinahanap po ba kayo? Kaya kayo ngayon nandito sa simbahan? In our first reading, the book or from the book of Exodus, the Israelites were complaining to Moses and Aaron because of hunger. Kapag ang tao ay gutom, ano po ang hinahanap? Hello. Ayun. Bakit di nagsasalita? No? Kapag ang tao gutom, ang hinahanap, pagkain. And this is what the Israelites were looking for. Food. Because they were hungry. After they were saved from, from slavery in Egypt, they were brought to a desert. Have you seen a desert? Hello. Yes. Anong nakikita sa desierto? Buhangin. And they were looking for food in the desert. Tingin nyo, meron silang makikitang pagkain sa isang desierto? That is why they were complaining to Moses. You brought us here without food? Gugutumin mo ba kami? But you know, instead of being grateful for the freedom they had experienced, they complained to Moses. Ang sabi nila, mabuti pa sana, pinatay na kami ng Panginoon sa Egypto. Doon, sa Egypt, nakakakain kami ng karne. Nakakakain kami ng tinapay hanggang gusto namin. Tito, sa ilang, sa disyerto, na pinagdalhan nyo sa amin, mamamatay kami sa gutom. Tingnan mo nga naman ang mga tao, hindi nila nakita ang mga bagay na ginawa sa kanila ng Diyos. Dinala sila sa ligtas na lugar, malayo sa pang-aalipin. Inalis sila sa Ehipto kung saan puro kasamaan, puro kapahamakan. Pinalaya sila sa pang-aalipin. Sa Egypt kasi, slaves ang mga Israelita. Inalis sila doon, tinaka sila doon ni Moises. Dinala sila sa disyerto. Pero hindi nila nakita yon. Dahil ang hanap nila, pagkain. Mas pinahalagahan nila ang material na nakukuha nila sa Ehipto gaya ng pagkain. Kahit na sila'y nahihirapan, kahit na sila'y nasa kapahamakan, mas mahalaga sa kanila ang pagkain. Na kung tutuusin, madaling mawala, madaling masira. It's as if what's important to the Israelites are the food and material that they enjoy. Not the freedom, not the happiness, not the safety that God gave them. They gave value to something that easily perishes and does not last long, such as food and material. Mas pinagpalit pa nila ang kalayaan, kasiyahan, 
kaligtasan at kabutihan na kayang ibigay sa kanila ng Diyos kumpara sa pagkain. Isang bagay na madaling masira, isang bagay na madaling maubos, at hindi naman nagtatagal. Hindi ba minsan, ganito din tayo? Mas mahalaga ang material kaysa kabutihan? Kaya nga yung iba, di bali ng magnakaw, wag lang magutom. Hello, totoo po ba yun? Di bali ng mangupit, wag lang magutom. Yung iba, kahit mandaya, basta kumita lang na ipagpapalit ang dangal sa ngala ng kabuhayan. Nakakalungkot dahil sa hirap ng buhay, nakukuha nating maging masama kapalit ng pera at materyal. Di ba minsan, parehas din tayo ng mga Israelita? Bakit? Hanap kasi natin pagkain. Hanap natin pera. Hanap natin material. Di bali nang ipagpalit ang kasiyahan. Ipagpalit ang kapayapaan. Ipagpalit ang safety, ang dangal. This is also the problem of Jesus to the people who are running after Him in our gospel. Do you still remember our gospel last week? Hello. Hindi na. I'll make you remember. Last week, we remembered the multiplication of loaves and fish. Ilan nga pong tinapay yung pinarami ni Jesus mula sa lima. Very good. At ilang isda? Dalawa. Yes. Last week, Jesus fed thousands of people through the multiplication of loaves and fish. And this is the reason why these people are looking for Jesus. We continue the story. Today, they are running after Jesus. Hinahabol nila si Jesus because they were fed and were able to eat. Pinupuntahan nila si Jesus dahil may napala sila kay Jesus. Nabusog sila. Napakain sila ni Jesus. That is why Jesus told them, alam mo kay Jesus, hindi ka talaga makakaisa eh. No? Alam nyo anong sabi niya? You are looking for me not because you saw signs but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Hinahanap ninyo ako hindi dahil sa kababalaghang nakita ninyo o sa milagrong nakita ninyo, kundi dahil nakakain kayo ng tinapay at nabusog. Nakakahiya ano? Para bang sinasabi ni Jesus, kaya lang ninyo ako hinahanap dahil may napala kayo sa akin. Kaya lang ninyo ako hinahabol ay dahil may nakuha kayo sa akin. Kaya lang kayo lumalapit sa akin ay dahil may kailangan kayo. Totoo po ba yon? Bakit ka nandito sa simbahan ngayon? May kailangan ka ba? May hinihingi ka ba? Kaya ka lang ba nagsimba kasi gutom? Kailangan ng trabaho? Kaya nga eh, napatanong ang mga tao, ano po bang dapat naming gawin? Ang sagot ni Jesus, manalig kayo sa sinugo ng Diyos. Ako ang pagkaing nagbibigay buhay. Ang lumalapit sa akin ay hindi na magugutom at ang nananalig sa akin ay hindi na mauuhaw kailanman. Ito yung gusto ni Jesus. Ang manalig ang tao sa Kanya. He wants us to have faith in Him, not on what He can give. Si Jesus, ang hangarin 
hindi kung ano ang makukuha natin sa Kanya. Siya ang asamin, hindi kung ano ang gusto ng tao na matanggap mula sa Kanya. Dahil kapag si Jesus ang hinangad, kapag si Jesus ang inasam, hindi lang natin makukuha ang kailangan natin, kundi tayo'y mabubusog at hindi na magugutom kailanman. Madalas kasi, hindi naman talaga Diyos ang gusto natin kaya tayo nagsisimba, kundi tayo'y may hinihiling. Diyos bang dahilan kaya ka nandito? O meron kang dinadasal? Meron kang kahilingan? Nakakalungkot dahil ang pinunta natin minsan sa simbahan ay hindi ang Diyos, kundi ang ating mga kagustuhan. Kaya kapag hindi naibigay ang ating gusto at hindi natin nakuha ang ating mga hiling, nagiging katulad tayo ng mga Israelita. Nagre-reklamo, nagagalit at kinukwestyon ang Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, God can give us more than the material we long for. If we will only long for God, we will realize that He is more than enough for our needs. Sapat ang Diyos. Kapag hinangad mong Diyos, kapag matagpuan mong Diyos, hindi ka na hihiling pa sa Kanya. Higit sa mga material at kayamanan ang kayang ibigay ng Diyos. Kaya kung meron tayong hihilingin sa pat ng Diyos para siya ang ating asamin. Amen. Please all stand. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may, like the Father, you satisfy the hungry with loaves and fish through your Son, Jesus. Help us become more and more like your Son as we pray and say, Lord, Hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the service rendered by those who lead the church serve as food that brings life and nourishment to the needy. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders and other public servants may implement and promote policies that answer the basic needs of the people whom they serve. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who are sick, lonely, anxious, and depressed may find strength and healing in Jesus, the bread of life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have gone ahead of us may know the fullness of salvation in Christ Jesus and celebrate God's love forever. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgen de Guia and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you trans to transform our lives so that like yours, our words and action may nourish and give life to our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Incensation of the Relic of St. John Marie Vianney Pray for us, St. John Marie Vianney That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ Let us pray Almighty and merciful God, who didst bestow upon St. John Marie Vianney wonderful pastoral zeal and a great fervor of prayer and penance grant we beseech thee that by his example and intercession, we may be able to gain the souls of our brethren for Christ, and with them attain to everlasting glory, through the same Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lived and reigned with thee, and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without, and Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Today we shall be having a second collection to help the victims of Typhoon Karina. Everyone is invited to celebrate the following liturgical activities at the shrine. Today we shall welcome the image of Our Lady of the Consolacion and the Sanctuary, pat patroness of San Agustin Church in our parish at 9.30 in the morning. The image will stay in our parish until next Sunday, August 11. The farewell mass of Dalao Consolacion is on August 11 at seven o'clock in the morning with Reverend Father Edwin Hari, OSA, San Agustin Church Par Parochial Vicar as presider. August 15 is the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Everyone is encouraged to celebrate the Feast of Our Lady at the Shrine. Masses are the same as our daily schedule. August 16 is the Memorial of Saint Rock or San Roque. Masses and the Feast of the Patron Saint 
invoked against epidemics and plague are the same as our daily schedule. Thank you for your attention. Please all stand. We pray for us, priests, as we celebrate today the feast day of St. John Marie Vianney, ang patron po ng mga diocesan priests. Sa likod po, merong uh, fishbowl po doon. You can pick a name of a priest that you could pray today. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessings. Graciously enlighten your family, O Lord, we pray that by holding fast to what is pleasing to you, they may be worthy to accomplish all that is good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be peace. to God. Oh,